Hello and welcome to Dishing Delights. My name is Jenica and today I'm going to share with you three more slow cooker recipes. The first recipe I am going to share with you is a cabbage soup. To start off the cabbage soup, I am going to brown up one pound of ground beef. For extra flavor, I am going to cook this a little longer than usual because I want the brown bits of beef to add a lot of extra flavor to the soup. So I am making sure the pieces are getting a little bit extra crispy before I add in my onion and two cloves of garlic. Now that I have added in my onion and garlic to a touch of oil, I'm adding in some salt, pepper, and Worcestershire sauce for a little extra flavor. For this cabbage soup, I'm going to add my meat mixture that has ground beef, one onion, and two cloves of garlic. I'm going to take my carrots and add those in. I'm going to take my tomatoes and add those in. I'm going to add in my cabbage. This was one small head of cabbage. I'm also going to add in about five black peppercorns and like a handful of Italian seasoning. Maybe a little bit more. Just about a tablespoon of lemon juice. About a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce and six cups of beef broth. The last two cups I'm just using beef bouillon. And then we're going to just let this go. This cabbage will cook down. I'm going to put this on high for four hours and then I'm going to check it out. I ended up cooking this on high for four hours. Then I mixed it just a little bit more and turned it on warm until I was ready to serve it. This soup turned out absolutely delicious and the leftovers were just as good. The second recipe I am making is creamy ranch chicken. The first thing I am going to do is I'm going to prep all of my veggies and I'm going to cut my chicken in half. A little tip with celery is if you want to soften it up more than usual, just run your peeler along it a few times and it'll make it very easy to cook down. All right, what I'm going to do with my chicken is I'm just going to cut some of this red meat off.
All right, now that the chicken is in, I'm going to add all of my veggies. If I was to do this again, I would add my chicken on top of the veggies. I was starting to become a bit under the weather here and the brain fog was real. This is going to be such a pretty dish at first. All right, what I'm doing with these onions is I'm just setting them in there. I'm just using them for the flavor. My husband does not like them that much and I want to eat the whole onion. So I'm just going to set these in here just like how I do when I make a roast. All right, because this is a dump and go recipe, I'm just going to dump this in there. All right, now I'm going to dump my milk in this. All right, I'm gonna sprinkle it with parsley. It says to use fresh parsley, but every time I buy fresh parsley, I never use it up. And it says one pack of ranch dressing. So that's, that's going to give that so much flavor. And then because it's a chicken dish, I'm adding some white pepper. I love white pepper. All right, I am just going to cover this and set it on high for four hours. All right, it has been four hours. This smells so amazing. Now this is ready, so I'm just gonna set it on warm. By the time that this was finished cooking, I realized I was in fact sick and some of the wonderful side effects hit me like a train. I'd love to tell you that this was absolutely delicious, but I honestly could not taste it. And it's 2021, so I don't think it takes a genius to understand what that means. <laughs> I'll leave the recipe linked below because the reviews are great, but I froze a few servings so I can give you my proper opinion when I get my taste back. It does look like such a pretty dish and the texture was perfect. The last recipe I am making is a blueberry dump cake. I didn't have any blueberry pie filling so I ended up making some of my own. Making pie filling from frozen fruit is very, very simple. You just have to have a half a cup of sugar, two tablespoons of cornstarch, and a half a cup of water, and then just add it to your one pound of fruit and it comes together pretty quickly. What I'm doing here is trying to get all the clumps out for my sugar and cornstarch mixture, and then I'm adding in my fruit, my water, and then I'm cooking this until it all it comes together. I also added in about a tablespoon of lemon juice here. And that just gives it such good flavor. Doesn't this turn out absolutely beautiful?
As I was looking through my freezer, I did find like a half a serving of blueberries, so I added those in here as well, just to get rid of them. Now you can do this with any fruit, peaches or strawberries or anything you would like. This turned out so delicious. I don't know if I will ever buy pie filling ever again. Now I probably should have buttered this before I added this in, but I didn't and it really didn't stick to it that much. But if you're worried about that, just add a little bit of butter or oil or something to your crock pot. But I added in my blueberry pie filling and to that I'm adding in a little bit of extract because I want like a lemon blueberry flavor as if I was going to be able to taste it. <laughs> but I added in my lemon extract, I mixed it together, and then I topped it with a yellow cake mix. For the cake mix, you just take your cake mix, I used yellow cake mix, and I just dumped it right on top hence the name, Dump Cake. And then once I had that completely covering my pie filling, I took a stick of butter, I cut it up into little pads, and then I just dabbed it onto the top of the cake mix, and voila, that's all you have to do. Of course, I added a little bit of extra step. I sprinkled like a little pinch of brown sugar over the top because brown sugar is life. Now I checked it here at three hours and it wasn't done quite yet, so I let it go for another hour. All right, it has been four hours. This is, oh my goodness. I don't have any vanilla ice cream, but that looks so delicious. Now, of course I couldn't taste this, but I have made this before for a crowd actually, and this is a crowd pleaser, so you definitely need to make this. I love this with cherry pie filling. Mm. Yum. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell down below. And I have a lot of videos coming out at you this week, so stay tuned.